Yeah, it's going to be a, a long day at the G unless something happens in a hurry. But McDonald quickly out of the 50 to the Bronx. Cheers. White made a contest. Robertson, Miller hooking back. They've got one. There was an enormous Bronx cheer then from the Melbourne fans when Melbourne actually kicked the ball. That's all they need to do. Just simplify this game plan. Get the ball into the forward line as quickly as you can. Make a contest. Try and win the ball back again. Here we go. Up at the centre bounce. Tap. Out of there from McDonald. Kick it long. OK, it's a scrubby kick. It's a two-on-two -two here. They don't actually take the ball in the air. Comes to ground. Robbo handballs it away to Miller and you screw the ball over your shot. Let's just simplify it and see whether or not they can't win their way back into this game. To McDonald, wasn't a good handball by White, it was behind McDonald, he had to wait, and then McLean, it's all slow motion, isn't it? And then bait run down, and then uh, McDonald, this is scrubby footy, boys, you asked for it, you're giving scrubby, and Miller gets it from Robbo for the second time today. Robbo passes to Miller and they get a goal. That was a scrubby goal. That's as scrubby as you could possibly make a goal, but in the end it was effective. The, the, the tackling was good from Fremantle. They were just able to get themselves free, and they kept pushing the ball forward. In the end, something eventuated, but they got the ball there quickly inside 50, and then Robbo just finished it off by handballing it to Miller, who's been probably one of their better players this afternoon. It's just effort. If you look at their midfield, they can match Frio's midfield. First time today. A lot of passion for footy, eh? 20 point margin, so Melbourne doing just what they needed to do. They've cancelled the Pavlich goals out and they're back in it. And Dennis, you're spot on about Bate. He has got a lot better as it's gone on. Oh. McLean was terrific to Bruce. Morton away. Good kick. Well, this is the biggest kick of the match about to happen right now. How critical have the clearances become in this game since about midway through the third quarter? And Bate and McLean since half-time. I know McLean had a lot of it early. He's had less. I think he had 13 in the first half. He's had 10 in this half, but he's actually had an influence in this half. Just in this quarter, 6-0 the clearances. Most Melbourne important Bay. kick of the match, Tim, this. He's had a terrific day, Miller. A big day. I reckon it might be time for Fremantle. That free that player that they've actually been using at the stoppages is having no impact on this game whatsoever. If Melbourne are going to put a player behind the ball across half back as that free play, it's probably time for them to shift a player free behind the ball as well, just to slow this game down. They've got to win the momentum back again. He's been good, Miller, hasn't he? He's been terrific. Fourteen points the margin. The closest they've been. So they're working double time. Gilmore. Sandlin's low down. Hand pass of a tired man. Miller breaks a tackle. Guadamiri is on. Guadamiri's got it. Take a shot. That was sensational play by Melbourne. In particular, Miller just to stay involved in that contest. Will be heard for a long time out west. And Melbourne right now are probably favourite. They need to get their nose in front. And they might in a minute. Miller's been terrific. And so is McLean who got it to him. Miller loads up. Where's Robbo? Morton. And he's kicked another 